Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a recipe writer and a food stylist, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet bread dough. Now, Allenson have come up with four really easy to make plain dough recipes that then can be transformed into loads of things. And they just use a few quality ingredients and some really simple techniques so that you can rise up and bake bread every day of the week. Sweet dough is perfect for treats like donuts and Chelsea buns. It takes a little bit more work than the other Allinson basic doughs because it's got an egg in and a bit more sugar, but the taste is so fantastic that it's absolutely worth it. So now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make. I've got 500 grams of Allinson strong bread flour and I'm going to add a sachet of the Easy Bake yeast straight into the bowl, then a teaspoon and a half of salt. Even though it's sweet, we still need to flavour it. And I've got 75 grams of golden caster sugar. Then I've heated 275 ml of milk and added 50 grams of diced butter. And this is great because it melts the butter, which is what we need to mix it in. And the butter cools the temperature of the milk a bit, so it'll be nearly ready to use um, and it'll be the perfect temperature for our yeast. So I'm going to go in with that. And then the last thing, and this is another difference, we've got an egg, and this is what enriches it and gives it the extra boost of flavour too. So one medium egg, crack that in, and then it's ready to mix about. Keep mixing until it's smooth. I've started with a wooden spoon, but you'll probably find you'll need to get your hands in. So once the dough is nicely mixed like this, you've got all the flour incorporated into the wet ingredients, then you're ready to knead. So just tip out to your work surface. Now we don't normally add extra flour at this stage because we don't want to make our doughs dry, but because we've enriched this with extra egg and milk and butter, it is a little bit wetter. So if you do find it sticking too much, you can add a tiny bit more flour, but again, little is better. We don't want a dry bread at the end and you'll keep kneading this for about five to 10 minutes until it's lovely and silky and smooth. Right, I think that dough is ready to go on to the next stage. It's lovely and smooth. It's a lot stretchier now than it was before, so it's ready to rise. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my bowl just so it doesn't stick. Wipe it around and then let's just form this into a nice neat ball and then we're gonna pop this in and leave it. And because it's an enriched dough, because we've got this sweet dough going on with the egg and the sugar, it will take a little longer to rise and double in size, and it might take nearer to two hours, but just cover it with either an oil bit of cling film or a clean tea towel, and leave it somewhere at room temperature, away from drafts, until doubled in size, and then we're ready to move on to the next stage. So, here it is. It's been rising for nearly two hours now and you can see how gorgeously puffed it is, full of air, absolutely ready for you to shape and bake and make into something absolutely gorgeous now. If you go to the bakingmad.com website, you'll find lots of lovely ideas on the Allenson recipe pages with exactly what you can make with this gorgeous sweet dough.